Okay. Who is this? Jada Harabi, maybe? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, the Chinese are smarter than I am, that's for sure. Uh, I guess I'm either an idiot or ignorant. I guess it'd be called ignorance because I didn't know. But anyway, he showed me this is what that plug looks like. So as you can see, the spring goes up inside it, but the end is what seals it off. So some of these manufacturers may have holes in them, some, some not. But anyway, the oil will push that down so far and then the oil will come out of the pump. So then this should be a totally normal thing. And the only, the only thing in question would be the materials the pump's made out of and if the spring is stiff enough. So I ordered a Mopar Performance Spring, high pressure swing, spring that I'll use if I use a stock volume pump. If I use the high volume pump, I may just go with a standard spring. But anyway, the other difficulties I had was when drilling this passage out in here to get this to half inch, I could not get this plug out, man. I mean, this thing was, the guys that, that mis, uh, machined the block, they put it some kind of a sealer or lock type looking stuff on there and I couldn't get this plug out. So anyway, I ended up just drilling the plug, taking, I tried to use some ease outs to get it out after I drilled the hole through it, but then there wasn't really enough meat around the edges left in there. So then I just took a chisel and chiseled that thing out show you with a light I just started chiseling that plug out until finally I could pop it out now I'm gonna have to get another plug which I want to get two new plugs for these because the plug I got well I want to get a tap too so I'll go down and get some taps I got everything done it's all done except for if you look on this right here he says The guy was running hydraulics, the best thing for you to do is instead of blocking the oil from the main bearing saddle to the left side gallery, block the oil to the number one main saddle coming from the right lifter galley. I'm not sure which one's right or left. Then you need to drill and tap and fabricate this, okay, to build this little crossover. But my question is, what if I didn't build the crossover or put the crossover in? Um, see the number one main has three holes one going to each galley he's saying to plug one and then i'm assuming this this galley over here on this side continues to get oil so if we plug this one then hold on you have to see that's the thing it do, he doesn't show which one of these to plug so that's my main question that i have as far as that goes to run a crossover what if i didn't run a crossover so you got, we've got full flow, half inch going through everywhere we can. And the galleys are opened up, or the uh, mains coming from the galley over here is opened up on this side. So uh, what does it hurt to have oil coming from this main to both galleys? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Or coming from this galley goes down here and then up the other one. I'm not sure what that really hurts. And that's really my main question. But the pumps, the Chinese pumps, sorry China, I guess you guys did okay. As long as your materials are good, you should be okay with those. I went ahead and bought another melting pump anyway, and a high pressure spring, so. What are you doing, Isla? Huh? I'm gonna paint with my duck. I paint with my duck. I paint with my duck and my mom. You gonna paint them? Okay. Okay, so that does lead me to one more question because of what Moper said. He says, unless you have a larger pickup as he does, all the works for no gain is there isn't enough volume available through either pump, standard or high volume, sucking through a factory style pickup to cause the passages to block in the block to be a restriction in their stock form. Okay, so he it looks like that his pickup comes right out of the, instead of, 
instead of coming out of here, coming into the pump through here, they, it's like his pickup is bolted to the bottom. So wouldn't it be pretty easy just to bore this out, use a hole saw or something to bore this out, weld in a, a tube. I could make my own pickup tube. I mean, it wouldn't be very hard. I'm gonna build my pan anyway and uh, deepen my pan. And so then I could just build a pickup tube out of any kind of five inch ID, ID pipe and weld it in here. But the question is, where does it have to be placed inside here? Because this, this here, all these that I've looked at all have these little slots. I don't know if they really make any difference or not. But um, if I was to drill this out, I mean, would I just keep it as close as I could to this side? And this is the pickup side. Put a plug, put a plug in this. Put my pickup tube right here, and then supposedly that gyrator rotator pump is going to suck up here, and then somehow it's going to force it out, force it out this hole. <laughs> I mean, which see, I drilled the one I'm going to use. I drilled it all out. It's all been, it's already been drilled out. But uh, that's the main thing. Could you just put a pickup in the center? Does it need to be off to the side? Um, so it's over here like this one is, like, you know, it's just kind of weird. Anyway, I guess it'll just suck it up. I'm not sure. Thanks for the info.